Hey guys, welcome back to Tap That. This is a little segment we like to call Last Call. Today's Last Call is Smutty Nose Brewing Company Finest Kind IPA. And of course, Ember, our special guest, she called this one out to be our last call. You ready? I am. Ready. Let's see what's on tap. Let's tap it. Alcohol. I gotta have a little talk with you. I wanna treat you just like you treated me. All right, guys. Let's tap that and pour. Last call. So this is a newer segment. Ooh, Splash me. Very fly. Me, me too. It was very frothy. Newer segment made by Tap That. Ember and for the audience, um, like you guys know, this this is just one more segment to just kind of give our final thoughts on the cereal, the uh, the beer, the case, everything in total. Just, you know. God, just how every day right. went. One last wrap up. Yeah, Cody was right. This, this doesn't look like an IPA to me. It, but it looks like a lager. I mm-hmm. swear this was the lager. And it has much more flavor. Yeah, it does have much more flavor, but I don't know if, if it's good flavor. It's called the finest kind, so. But no, I liked this one. Emma, I want to um, give you the spotlight, though, before the beer. Mm-hmm. What, what did you think of the experience? Did you like filming? I did. Yeah. I, I thought I would be nervous, but you guys are, you ease the exam. Like, it's it's good. Oh, it's we didn't easy do conversation. It. It's we just, got, you got your liquid yeah. courage in here, and it gets easier and easier. Woo! <laughs> it's, our, it's our partner. No, no, I, I liked it. I partner liked crack. it a lot. I did. Um, and I liked trying the cereals. I've never thought about comparing generic to name brand, but hey, I learned some things. Yeah, we learned some things. That's, <laughs> yeah, we always try to learn. learn. I learned some things, for sure, and, and I liked it. What was I, your What was your favorite beer in the segment? So far. This one, actually. This one? The finest kind, yeah. Oh, well, well, we'll go over that yeah. review then. Wow, well, yeah. yeah. All right. My favorite beer was uh, Old Brown <laughs> no, Dog. You liked Old Brown Dog. I did. I think this one's <sighs> my favorite, too. Um, yeah, this is my favorite. And now, that I know it, and now that I know it's an IPA. Yeah, it's it's more flavorful. It tastes like an IPA. And it's we're not, we flavor. don't super do taste level content, so we kind of, this is more free form, but mm-hmm. this one's a 6.9% also. So, like, it's much higher, so I'm, like, I'm okay with a little bit of sting it's got going here. Yeah. Like, this is almost a 7% beer, you know? It's like, darker. It's the it, one that tricked us into it longer. It it's did. the one that Which tricked makes us into me think I, I like still, tricky things. I, I like tricky things. I can still bring you guys over to the dark side. You still enjoy a lot. But your lager was light as fuck. Your lager yeah, yeah. was light. <laughs> but we thought this was the I lager. did. I so. did. It has kind of a lagery taste to it. It does. I thought so, too. Now, with the cereal, was anybody surprised on our findings? I was a little, I was a little surprised because my favorite cereal out of all of them was the Golden Graham generic, generic the bag same, one. Yeah, the same, honey the Honey Graham toasters. Yeah, that was my favorite out of yes. every cereal we had today. And the worst was the generic uh, Reese's, Reese's Puffs. Puffs. They oh. were terrible. Sorry, Storm. No. He's like, that <laughs> was know, my favorite. <laughs> we know you like chemicals pumped into your body, but I don't like it. Apparently. Sorry. Apparently <laughs> so the cereal wasn't as surprising for me because I, I kind you of... Got, you guys did well, though. Amber got all three of them. She what, did what? get all three of them. What do I win? Yeah. <laughs> A beer. A beer. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wasn't as surprised because... I knew obviously there's there's stuff all the time you try that are, are lower shelf, even in liquor and stuff, you know, mm-hmm. bottom shelf versus top shelf. And you don't see a significant difference until you do, you know. Until, what I mean? until you're putting them beside each other. So know? I knew that was coming ahead. And where they said like the chemical taste, I, I definitely tasted it. I just, you know, enjoyed it. But he it. likes it that way. Yeah. <laughs> you think, and this is totally off the wall. I know you vape and stuff, so it's always you vape like this chemically like fruit flavors. You think you're just, because I don't, me and Amber don't do any of that stuff. You think you're just used to like a chemical altered flavor? No. And you're like, all right, I know what it's now, going and for. I, and I have to say this about vaping. I don't vape. Yeah. Okay. And I just experienced this last night, but like I had a guy that vaped over here and a guy that, vaped, like I could smell the difference between the vapes. Oh no, they, like, they taste different too. I've oh, and this too. transitions and like, to everything. Yeah, but you like get a I, higher, everything. higher vape juice and a lower vape yeah. juice. Like you can tell. So quality in all products, obviously. But it's funny because the the honey graham toasters and the generic Reese's Puffs weren't they the same? Like they were the same brand. Brand the, but technically, tech, but technically. vastly different. Vastly brand. different. It's just crazy. It's and that's crazy. where that's where obviously you see what didn't surprise me. What I should say about this episode with the cereal is because you see the price difference because you don't have the marketing and you don't have. Like the box is not superior and things like that. So to sum it all up, I wasn't surprised about, you know, price differences. 
You're going to taste them. I was a little surprised, and only because the only one that I preferred the name brand was was for the Reese's Puffs. And I also, tasting all three beside each other, don't think I prefer Reese's Puffs that much. It was... I was like, eh, it's okay. Those high gram toasters were good. Those gram toasters were good. That's a damn good, good point I didn't even think about. That yeah. we were blindfolded. And did you really taste the difference? Other than the Reese's. Let's knock those out. Yeah. That was a vast difference. <laughs> Other than the milk soaking into the Apparently syrup. Amber did. She got all three of them right. Apparently she I did. didn't, yeah. though, because I only she got did. one right. And I didn't really... I was really going for crunch more than flavor. But and the crunch is what gave it to me. Yeah. Honest to God, like yeah. the crunch is what gave it to me. She did. She did say it. She had something she was doing that she was getting. But what about the case? What were we talking about? This case. The case. So first we did the match play IPA, and then second old brown dog, and then lager, and then now we're on the finest kind IPA. What do you think about the cans? Um, I actually now we did some cans, but were very boring. These, These are boring, but not. Offensively boring. No, I like that they do shadow play. I like the shadow play. I like the shadow play on the cans. Uh, I do also like their color schemes. On if you put all the colors together, it looks okay. It looks all right. You have this piss yellow, and and see, I think so. Their finest kind is this nice green that I think should be here on this old brown dog. Yeah, but that's why they didn't do it. And your favorite can? Mine's the lager for sure. The, the lager. lager. The lager is my favorite can. I thought that was the one you were most pissed about. No, I thought you liked Match Play. I like Finest Kind. That's my favorite one. I like Finest Kind. This is nice. Okay. No, the Logger had the prettiest colors. I, I don't like, like the, the name of Logger at all. Yeah. Oh, okay. Name's yeah, boring. The name's but the lettering's good. good. The lettering, the colors, all that's super good for the for the Logger beer. Yeah. It's fancy as fuck. Now, something bougie. That is, Very bougie. is on <laughs> this case, which I really like, and we always talk about this, how the ABV is not... Super important towards the rating, but it does it have is? a place in there, you know? It does, yeah. And on this case, it shows all it's on the there. ABVs right mm -hmm. at the bottom of the can. And it does not, yeah. yeah and as a nice. shopper for for me, when I'm looking especially for a case, tap that. Mm -hmm. yeah, especially tap that, I'm looking at these ABVs. And a lot of the time when I'm solo shopping for beer, I'm looking like, is there any 7% in here? Is there any, you know what I mean? What's I don't my want weekend a, beer? Yeah, I don't want a case full of 4.7%. Oh, for sure. And I'll admit I shop for the higher ABVs. No, so, it's the same. I think, though, in, in my general view of the case, though, all the beers were kind of meh for me. And I think this is – because this was a little expensive, right? I mean, not too expensive. I think it was 21 a pop. It was – yeah, uh, right around there because for it was case, over yeah, $40 yeah. for – It was $40 for two of them, which mm -hmm. you get a deal. It's yeah. 21 a pop. But they have cheaper – this is more of like an $18 case for me. These beers aren't offensive or anything, but there's nothing where I'm like, oh, I need yeah, that. Yeah, they're beer. not very. I would okay, never buy this. I would again. say three of the four were very meh. They're meh. I, I think the finest, the to me, to me, one stands out above the rest. And argu arguably, I would say two of them okay. were kind of blah, and then two of them had a lot. Two of stand out above the rest. This okay. one and Old Brown Dog for me. These two, the Logger and the Match Play. Kind of just See, like, I think this one match play and logger are all meh. Even no, though I, I didn't like, like the old brown dog, it's the most significant flavor. Okay. No, if I, I would have it yeah, again, same. if I would have it again, It'd I would, be this I would old brown know dog. it. I'd be like, ooh, old brown dog, yep. I know that flavor. Yep. I don't like that flavor. To me, the best flavor is the finest kind one. Um, the old brown dog is a very significant flavor. Though. I actually I agree. think... These two were very the same. I honest, the the uh, match play and the longer were the same. I think my favorite beer overall was probably the match play because it was light. It was weak flavor, but there's enough alcohol content in it for me to be like, okay, this is okay. Um, this this has a little. I know I'm getting tricked here. It's got a lagery taste to it. There's something. It's definitely stronger than what I would expect. There's something not IPA about yeah. it, and I. Oh, don't, I. And now that I know it's not, it's weird, but like, and it tricked my brain, maybe. Yeah, I, it's like, fine. It's, like, it's, I don't, I'm not hating on this. This isn't something I would search for, though. And where would you guys picture yourselves? Drinking this? Drinking this, yep. Oh, man, right where the can says, At a brewery. Oh, I a think brewery? a brewery. Oh, no, I agree. I totally agree with Alex. This looks like an outdoors beer, maybe in a lawn chair, watching yeah. a concert. See, like that. And that's not, where I disagree. These two lighter beers are where I Not think activity outdoors, though. This yeah. is sitting somewhere outdoors. Yeah. Oh, okay. This right. is... There's this also is a camper on here. Watching so. a race, 
race, you know, watching a football game. Oh, there game. is a camper. You're right. Like, it's right where the can says. I think I think the cans for all of these have been very good at showing... Where you'd be. Where I think I'd be, which props to them. I actually didn't mind the, the case as a whole. I think the name for the brewery is a little weird. Smutty nose. No, I like it. No, we explained that. Cody. I know, uh, I get props it. Props to Cody. He's not here right now, this very instant, behind the scenes. Cody did an excellent job today, and he explained the smutty nose. I like it. I I kind of like the name Smutty Nose because it stands out. I'm going to remember this name. Yeah. I've never heard of Smutty that Nose. That is true. That's a good point. But I'm, it's a memorable name. To the me. seal's cute. I think they need to the feature the seal more prominently. Yeah, no, I like that it's so kind of in the back. It, up, it covers it up. But it's down here too. No, yeah. and I like that it's That's in the background right. of all the cans. I do. I like yeah. it. All in all, you know. And every can too. It's in the background of every can. We suggest this for everyone. Obviously, mm-hmm. we're not sponsors, but go check out Smutty Nose Brewing Company. Maybe you get a different variety pack. Maybe you get this pack. But check it out. Leave it in the comments. Make sure you rate them all. We yeah. want to know your rating. Mm-hmm. Let's do. Let's wrap this up. Do a quick review of each beer. Just give me a number. What do you rank this one? Uh, let's go. One more sip. Skip me for now. I, 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 I wasn't said, ready. You me this to me is the highest. It's it's most flavorful, and I can see myself sitting outside drinking it, or even at a brewery drinking it. Um, this is probably like I'd say an eight point six. Ooh, you're high. For me. Wow. And this is good. She this hasn't is a drank good beer. enough beers. I haven't, wow. you know, and to be honest, I haven't been on the show. Listen, enough. I've rated <laughs> I rated a perpetual like an eight point six, and this is no close. No, no, no. I like this more than perpetual. I Fuck think. That. Honest <laughs> to God, I think I do. Anyways. Ooh. <laughs> I am gonna go real quick. I think it's fine. Also, I'm gonna do like a six point seven. I, th- I no. think it's fine. You guys are harsh. We're harsher. That's fair. Yeah, I'm... I like you, smutty nose, right here. And <laughs> I wish you wouldn't have said you guys are harsher because I'm going six point three. No <laughs> influence from her, but it's a good IPA. It's yeah, it's, it's good. It's, it's not hateful or anything. I no, wouldn't mind drinking. Had us all tricked. And wait, I fair. In all fairness, I literally drank a perpetual before this. Oh, the perpetual. Oh, really? We're not Literally. Getting, we're not getting into that. We can do perpetual versus this. I'll have that episode. Well, we haven't had that. Oh, yes. Like we'll, have, we'll have little segments of 1v1. Yeah, 1v1s. But, but yeah, all in all, fun episode to shoot for you guys. Please, we have an Instagram. We have a Facebook, all things to Alex. We have all those things. Check us out. Tap that review. And always, as always, please tap that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Now,